Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're asking or discussing the question, why do K-1 visa holders only get 90 days to marry? So for those who are unaware, if you obtain a fiancé visa in the K-1 category for a foreign fiancé to come to the United States to reunite with you, you have 90 days in which to marry that individual and then file for adjustment of status. So if you don't get married in 90 days, it can be a real problem and could possibly lead to a situation where that person either needs to leave the U.S. or could face you know, the possibility of things like legal grounds of inadmissibility and deportation. But long story short, you have 90 days in which to get married. And people often ask me, they say, why 90 days? Well, my response is, go ask Congress in 1956, or whenever it was they promulgated the Immigration Nationality Act. They invented this. In their infinite wisdom, it was, you know, uh, a betrothed couple. You know, 90 days was enough time in which to get that person into the States, I guess kind of get to know each other, and then get married. Long story short, it's what we have to deal with. So for those who do get a K-1 visa, be well aware of the fact that it's a 90-day window, if you will, of time that you can't let that time transpire without going ahead and get married if you want to go ahead and adjust that fiancé to lawful permanent residence in the United States.